G'day guys, this is your bubbly host H2O Queen. I hope my dream stream family and viewers are well. Uh, if you'd like to uh, support me on Twitch, I also stream there. Um, I have a stream schedule of Saturday, Sunday and Monday. So if you'd like to go ahead in my description and follow me there, the support would be much appreciated. So it's been a while since I've done a throwback time video. I stopped doing them because I was worried I was breaching rights of the user. So luckily I spoke to Rob and Rob said it definitely wasn't an issue. So I want to go back and do these videos because I really, really miss keeping in, con in, in connection with Pokemon Jewel and I really love showcasing our different content creators. Albeit, I don't know where I'm going to really go after I've done this section because I'm just showcasing one video per content creator and I think I could probably only summon up about four more creators before this section is done. I mean, not unless someone is willing to give me some more recommendations. Yeah, I'm just in a little bit of a, a catch uh, 22 in that regards. Um, so I'm going to be featuring as per my YouTube title says is Giggity Gaming. So I'm really excited for this as most of you know with Giggs that his main deck was Grass at one point. Uh, however, he did have another deck that he showcased a lot. I won't spoil it, but this was before it um, became a really big thing and that it got the reason for its nerf. And there was another... You, and, not so much used combination as well so I'm really happy I found this because I didn't know where it was it took me a little while but I found it so we're gonna watch this and then I'll talk you through how the deck works and the strategy behind it and also just let it play out and then yeah so hopefully you guys will enjoy this and let's switch over all well, this way <laughs> let's go Okay, so we've got Giggs here right now. As you can see, he's got two Allium, two Behem, and also two of one of my favorite water figures is Tapu Fini. So how it works essentially is the synergy is, is that you come up with um, Tapu Fini and the Pony Wish is activated and it gets to knock out one of the uh, opposing figures. Now, I can't remember if it's uh, Behem or if it's Allium. I knew of this before I recorded and I've just lost track of thought but what happens is is that um, one of the figures will I think it's Algium will actually uh, swap out um, will swap out whoever it is is in the uh, being like oh, what's what I'm trying to find I cannot find my words when it's been like um, eliminated it will rotate back through and bring up whatever figure it was eliminated and you know take itself out in favor for that and you'd find you'd get a lot of weird synergy decks happening. This was very common with Celebi and there was a really big uproar about that as you guys know with using the um, Algium, Behem and also the Celebi combination. And um, one of the strong things that is really cool about um, Algium and also uh, Behem is that you've also got like the takeaway, not only its abilities was uh, very, very good and I think you specifically, um, was it miss that you had to do? I was looking at all this and I've just suddenly forgot now in whilst I'm doing this. Trust me to do that. But, um, yeah, so that was, it's really, really clever and I like it. So it's just a waiting game, getting the right roles. And you really can't go too wrong with Algium and Behem. That's Algium right there. So when this Pokemon's knocked out, you may move. Yeah, so it's Algium that has the ability to bring the figures back from when they've been eliminated and they come back through. So in this case, we'll watch what happens. Um, so we've got Tapu Fini now, who was eliminated. So if Algium gets knocked out, that will mean that Tapu Fini will get brought back. Which is like really super cool. And I somehow like you can keep, yeah, so it's just a really, really awesome deck strategy behind it and you really can't go to run with it which is what makes it so much fun so we've got uh, gigs now moving up algium see takeaway is nice it's a really good move because now that 
figure goes into Gig's PC. So that is even now eliminating even more figures now. So um, yeah. There is a brief moment where I think Gigs, Gigs has a bit of a close call. Um, but other than that, yeah, this is it here with the uh, Evolving Magic Heart. But honestly, it's one of those um, decks you really can't go to on. I wouldn't say it's a mindless deck by all means. You still need to be, you can still lose with any deck. You just got to play it strategically and just be mindful of where you move your figures to. So as we can see, as Geeks has said in, as well in their video, that they're going to Mega Evolve and attack, which is ideally the most um, smartest move to do. Uh, fortunately, Gigs has a goal block to be able to help counter that. Otherwise, it would have been game over for Gigs. So that works out really well. So now, as we know, um, as most of us would think, we now need to protect the goal in case Storm is activated again. So fortunately in that regards, um, they tied, but what I find really surprising is with this is that, um, that even though they had the double chance play, they didn't respin again, because all it would have meant is that, uh, LGM would have just, uh, been teleported and that wouldn't have been such a big deal. So maybe that was a bit of a, a loss of a move on behalf of the opponent there because that could have maybe created some issues with that um, but moving forward now so as we can see um, Mega Garagos devolves down to Gyarados and now gets surrounded so uh, yeah now we've got Giggs who is in very strong position uh, two of the opponent's figures are now in the opponent's PC and Giggs still has one of the opponent's figures in his own PC and right now, only two of the opponent's figures are on the field. So you can see here how the synergies work, and it's quite strong, actually. Um, I believe on the replay watch that one of the Finneys did come back. So this is where you can see a lot of frustration would come back into it in that regards when they are able to swap, uh, swap out and rotate. Because, yeah, that would be just so annoying with having to deal with... Yeah, see? Finny comes back and then that means uh, more wrecking going on for the opposition which is just yeah not good yeah a lot of they they got um the nickname being onions or was it Salaby that got onions oh the alien it wasn't onions it was alien team Why did I say onions? I meant to say alien anyway. <laughs> but you can see here the opponent is starting to really struggle and yeah, it's not looking good. So um, Giggs is going to go straight in hoping to land a um, a pony wish unfortunately didn't get the roll but muddy water is still good anything's better than a knockout ah uh, here comes the pony wish so yep they get rid of oh why do i keep forgetting that figure now that has been excluded So yeah, this is really um, bad for the opponent right now. Phoebeus, that's the one. Yeah, see, there we go, rotating through. And then one figure goes out in favour for another and just the cycle keeps repeating. 
So Giggs is somewhat defending their space, which is kind of cool. And then here comes in Ponywish. Yeah, this is really bad now for the opponent. Really, really bad. So Giggs coming back to defend, I don't see that as being a bad thing. I think that's quite smart because with Muddy Water, we know what happens with Muddy Water. Just so long as Giggs doesn't put two of his figures uh, side by side, it should be fine. But now it's just a matter of waiting game, just getting the timing. So there it is. Now another takeaway is activated and there is nothing left the opponent can do. They have no more uh, max revives. Um, two of their figures was in the um, opponent's PC and so forth. But yeah, as you guys can see, that can be quite um, a killer of a deck if used strategically. And the alien decks, when combined with Celebi, was so annoying because all, all Celebi had to do was land its blue and you know rinse and repeat and that's why they got such a big nerf uh, later on but that was really such a cool deck and you know I mean they were just that was just how the figures were back in the days you know and it's just up to the individual how they use it and if like, if Haroz the developers back in the day got enough complaints they'll know the figure and that's just how it was but I think that was pretty cool. So GG to Giggs and to their opponent. And uh, yeah, I'll create these videos um, maybe once a fortnight or once a month. Again, I want to try and maximize it. I'm thinking of new Pokemon Jewel co um, content I can still create. Uh, right now, as you guys might know, Pokemon Unite um, was just announced about three or about four days ago now. So we've got that to look forward to. But my heart is still faithful with Pokemon Jewel. I still love it. It is one of my favorite, all-time favorite gacha games. Um, so yeah, I will try and keep the spirit of Pokemon Jewel alive. And I look forward to seeing another video. If you guys would like to go ahead and please give this video a big thumbs up and to please subscribe. Not only help, would it help my uh, algorithm, however, I am trying to reach 500 subscribers before the end of August in 2020 and yeah I've got something planned once I reach 500 subscribers and I really hope you guys can help every subscriber is really appreciated and I am so grateful to all 500 oh not 500 420 plus of you who have um, subscribed this far the she bubbly host h2o queen over and out peace love light enjoy enjoy the rest of the day Take care guys and I shall um, stream, or not stream, but stream and also create a video later.